morning. Greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I am your host, Pharmacist Ben, nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I specialize in using nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health, to your vitality, to your well-being, and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health issue. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 27 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes and hypertension and obesity, skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure, because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment basis, and while some folks may call that a miracle, it really is no miracle at all, it is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health or nutrition or prescription drugs, we're here for you on the bright side. We welcome your phone calls at 855-660-4261. That's 855-660-4261. If you have comments or questions or if you have a success story you'd like to share, if you just want to contribute to the conversation, 855-660-4261. And, of course, if you have any questions about the longevity products, we're always glad to help you out. Questions about ingredients, questions about formulations, questions about products, 855-660-4261. You can also head over to my website, brightsideben.com, and click on the Join the Team link and make some money selling longevity products. Start yourself a longevity business for a one-time $10 fee. You can enjoy all the benefits associated with having your own business. That includes tax write-offs, writing off your home office, writing off products that you give away as samples, writing off mileage if you're going to meetings. That's for a one-time $10 fee. Of course, you always also get your products at the wholesale price. You can also call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470. All right. We are going to continue talking about enzymes, digestive enzymes, as it relates to protein and protein absorption. Later on in the program, we're going to be talking to Jay Widener, who some of you may know. Jay's a, a movie director. He runs things over at, uh, he runs the show at Diane TV as well as being an authority on alchemical and hermetic traditions, in the words of Wired Magazine. And we're going to be talking about some interesting stuff that Jay has to say about the pineal gland. And we'll do that in our second half of the program. So we'll take questions if you guys, uh, if we have questions, if you guys want to call in, call in uh, now, and we'll take your calls in our second segment. Uh, And that's uh, coming up here in the next few minutes. So 855-660-4261. Don't wait because we won't be able to get to you. So give us a call now. 855-660-4261. Okay. So last we spoke, we were following a hypothetical piece of protein, piece of meat from uh, the beginnings of its journey in the mouth to its final, its temporarily final anyway, a resting place in the liver. Meat starts off in the mouth. Protein starts off in the mouth travels down the digestive tract, ends up in the liver. This is where protein's final home is until the body will end up using it, and it's stored in the liver as amino acids. This journey from mouth to the liver is very complex, and a lot of different things have to be functioning seamlessly for everything to be working correctly. And also because of this complexity, there's lots of little areas where things can screw up, where things can go wrong, not chewing our food long enough, salivary problems. Deficiencies in stomach acid, deficiencies in stomach enzymes, pancreatic issues, including diabetes, can compromise protein absorption. Intestinal health issues, Crohn's disease, leaky gut. You see, it's almost, it's almost a miracle that things work perfectly all the time for, for most of us. IBS, ulcerative colitis, digestive problems of all kinds, all of these can result in incomplete digestion of proteins. In other words, our food protein may not get converted into its amino acid constituents, its amino acid building blocks. The body needs amino acids. It doesn't need chunks of protein. It needs amino acids. It can't use protein chunks. By the way, these protein chunks are called peptides. And these peptides are going to have a super, super important role to play when it comes to autoimmune disease, as we'll talk about here in a little bit. 
So the body needs amino acids. It needs the protein to be completely broken down into its constituent parts. Incomplete digestion of protein is not a good thing. For one thing, it means cells aren't going to have the amino acids that they need. The body cannot use peptides, with some exceptions. The body needs amino acids. So if you have incomplete digestion of protein, you're not going to get your aminos. And that means you're not going to have the raw materials that you need to make protein hardware. Remember, protein is hardware as opposed to genetics, which is software. Without being able to break down your meat or your protein foods into its constituent parts, you're not going to have the aminos for making the hardware. That means less collagen. That means more wrinkles. That means osteoporosis. That means vascular problems because your blood vessels are largely composed of collagen protein. That means less enzymes, digestive enzymes. That means less communication molecules. All of this stuff comes from amino acids. And half of these amino acids have to come from food. They're so-called essential amino acids. So you're talking potential issues with strokes, potential issues with aneurysms, potential issues with brittle nails or hair, potential issues with dry skin because dry skin moisturization depends on amino acids. Did you guys know that? I'll bet your dermatologist didn't know that. Skin moisturization, or skin moisturizes itself largely by the action of amino acids, which come in from the diet, which come in from food, which depend on digestion. And, of course, osteoporosis also depends on, or preventing osteoporosis, protecting against osteoporosis, depends on amino acids that come in from food. And that means you have to have a good protein digestion, you have to have good protein digestion machinery. And guess what? If you don't have amino acids because you're not digesting your food, then you're not going to have the aminos for building the digestive lining. You're not going to have the aminos for repairing the digestive tract. And now you've started a vicious cycle where digestive impairment leads to more malabsorption, which leads to more digestive impairment, which leads to more malabsorption. And, of course, then you're going to go to the doctor for your osteoporosis, your dry skin, or your vascular problems. God forbid if you end up with a stroke. Do you think your doctor's going to check protein intake? No. Do you think your doctor is going to check your protein digestion machinery? No. You think he's going to check for stomach acid or digestive enzymes or pancreatic sufficiency? No. You're going to end up with a drug. You're going to end up with Fosamax. You're going to end up with some kind of prescription medication because doctors don't check these things. But it gets even worse. That's because there is a very, very important relationship between digestive enzymes and autoimmune disease, especially when we talk about proteases, protein digestive, protein digesting enzymes. Proteases are, are uh, uh, enzymes that digest protein. Remember that, that suffix, the ending of that word ACE, A-S-E, tells you you got an enzyme. Protease means a protein digesting enzyme. Protein digesting enzymes help break proteins into small pieces called peptides, and then, and then they break the peptides into amino acids, and the body needs amino acids. It doesn't want peptides, with some exceptions. Whey protein, by the way, contains some really amazing peptides, that is, chunks of amino acids that the body can use, and this is one of the reasons why whey protein is such a stupendous source of protein. It has peptides that are important for building the immune system and for growth. But for the most part, the body needs amino acids, not peptides. And if you're not breaking your protein up efficiently, you're going to end up with these chunks, these amino, uh, amino acid chunks called peptides, and that's where problems begin. See, the immune system, our body's defense system, is always on the lookout for peptides that have gotten into the blood inappropriately. The, the immune system is designed to look for peptides. The immune system is designed to look for peptides that have gotten into the blood. It's constantly scouring the blood. You have immune system cells that are constantly searching the blood, looking for peptides that have gotten inside the sacred space of the circulatory system. Remember, everything that's alive is made of peptides, and the immune system identifies invaders by their peptides, by their structural peptides. Everything that's alive, everything that was alive, has structural peptides. And this is no problem if we're healthy, because our digestive system is going to break the proteins down into amino acids, and there won't be an immune response. But... If you're not digesting your protein and you've got peptides that are incompletely digested protein, peptides that have gotten into the digestive tract, into the immune system, sorry, into the circulatory system, through the digestive tract, big problems can result. We'll talk about that when we come back from our break and take your phone calls as well. You are listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. 
You have all seen and heard about the elements of the periodic table. These elements are the building blocks of everything in the universe. You, my friends, are made from these elements. A shortage of any of these important trace elements can lead to disease. Go with the science and take the Lady Talk Health Challenge and get all 90 essential trace elements with a healthy start pack at LadyTalkLive.com or call 855-333-LADY. That's 855-333-5239. Research shows it's not just what you put in your body that counts, it's what you put on it as well. Why not use an all-natural, healthy, mineral-based makeup that actually benefits your skin? Once you experience the airiness and flawless coverage of Longevity Mineral Makeup, you will never use anything else. With Longevity, the perception of your complexion will be natural perfection. Animal-friendly mineral makeup at Mary Lou Health. That's M-A-R-I-L-U-Health.com. Or call 855-321-HEALTH. Hi, this is Gary Cooper with Midas Resources, Gold and Silver. Government shutdown, inept politicians, entitlements, looming Obamacare. The death of the U.S. dollar as a global reserve currency is what nobody wants to acknowledge. We have a debt bubble that cannot be paid and will eventually crash the dollar. If you're concerned about keeping your money, why not consider storing your wealth in gold and silver? Call me, Gary Cooper, at 1-800-686-2237, extension 130. Together we'll discuss your options of buying gold and silver. Again, the global elite have plans for your money, and it doesn't include you. So call me, Gary Cooper, at 1-800-686-2237, extension 130, and we'll discuss your options of buying precious metals. Also, I can send you information on how you can roll over your IRA or 401K into a precious metal IRA. Again, don't get caught with money in your account when the dollar crashes. Call me, Gary Cooper, at 1-800-686-2237, extension 130. To thank you for being a loyal listener, we have a limited time freebie offer for you. Claim your free heirloom tomato seeds, just pay shipping, right now at 123freeseeds.com. These aren't ordinary seeds. These are heirloom, non-genetically modified super seeds that are open pollinated and can be grown, harvested, and replanted endlessly. These survival seeds are actually more valuable than gold in a crisis. Go to 123freeseeds.com and you can get an airtight storage packet of 150 super seeds free while supplies last to say thank you for being a loyal listener. First come, first served. Just cover shipping. Go to 123freeseeds.com now to see if your free heirloom seeds are still available. That's 123freeseeds.com. The National Preppers and Survivalist Expo, presented by Triton Shelter Technologies, is the only national event designated for the prepper community. October 19th and 20th at the North Atlanta Trade Center in Atlanta, Georgia. Admission is free, and the doors open at 9 a.m. Join us and learn life-saving tips that can help you and your family handle crisis situations. Special guests include Kevin O'Brien from Nat Geo's Doomsday Preppers, David Crawford, author of Lights Out, the director and cast members from the movie Lights Out Saga, and more. Special guest speakers include GCN's own Dr. Joel Wallach, along with Dr. Bones, Nurse Amy, and Tom Martin, the director of the American Preppers Network, two-time field and screen champion Chad Weatherford, along with many other leading experts from around the country. Join us for the country's largest emergency preparedness event, absolutely free, October 19th and 20th at the North Atlanta Trade Center in Atlanta, Georgia. For more information, visit NPSExpo.com. That's NPSExpo.com. America's number one source for independent talk radio for over a decade. We are the GCN Radio Network. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben. Uh, in our next segment, we're going to be talking to Jay Widener of uh, Guy and TV. Jay's a movie director as well. We're going to be talking about the pineal gland and some of Jay's takes on the pineal gland. I, I watched Jay's presentations 20 years ago. I've known this guy for a long time. 
And uh, he's got some really interesting things to say about melatonin and serotonin and the pineal gland. We'll be talking about uh, we'll be talking to Jay in our next segment. We'll take your phone calls here momentarily. I just want to say one more thing, and then we'll finish this up tomorrow, the, the very important connection, a very underappreciated connection uh, and unrecognized connection between incomplete protein digestion and autoimmune disease. Have you heard this before? I mean, we, we always talk about how important the uh, digestive system is, but have you really heard about this connection between incompletely digested protein, peptides, and their relationship to autoimmune disease? Probably not. We will be talking about that tomorrow. So our little piece of meat or little piece of protein goes from the mouth. It goes down into uh, the digestive tract. It gets broken down in, under healthy, normal conditions. It gets broken down into amino acids, which are stored in the liver as amino acids, and then the body has a pool of amino acids for building collagen, for uh, making enzymes, for, doing com- for uh, producing communication proteins, etc. If this does not occur, little chunks of protein will remain. These are called peptides, and over the course of time, these peptides can leak into the blood, and they can initiate an immune response. Hold on to that thought, because we will continue that tomorrow as we continue talking about protein, protein digestion, and this all has to do with osteoporosis and bodybuilding and anti-aging as well. All right, uh, 855-660-4261, Pastor Raymond in New Jersey. What's up, buddy? Welcome to the Bright Side. Hello, Ben. How you doing this morning? Greetings. Hey, uh, I got a question for you about magnesium. Okay. Um, for, for, for some time, we've been using the uh, magnesium oxide uh, prill uh, beads to um, condition uh, our water. Okay. And it, it really does nice things for the texture of the water. It softens taste. the water. But uh, I was on uh, WebMD this morning, and I'm reading about uh, magnesium oxide for uh, oral usage. Uh, I, I guess it's, uh, you know, as a, as a liquid uh, supplement or something. And at the bottom of the article, it says that too much magnesium in the blood can cause serious side effects. Uh, well, and I'm, I'm thinking, not buying that. Magnesium uh, oxide, by the way, is magnesia, and as in milk and ma- milk of magnesia. I don't know where they're getting the idea that too much magnesium in the blood. Obviously, too much magnesium in the blood can be a problem, but yeah. you're not going to have too much magnesium in the blood by drinking magnesium. Your body handles magnesium quite well, and most people have deficiencies in magnesium, not too much magnesium. In fact, magnesium balances calcium, and if we have any kind of problems with minerals or excess minerals, it's excess calcium, not excess magnesium. Not that, not that excess calcium is that big a problem either, probably, but calcium and magnesium balance are tightly, tightly regulated. I wouldn't be buying into what M- I would rarely buy into what M- WebMD says, but in this case, I wouldn't buy into that. That doesn't sound right to me. You're not going to get too much magnesium in the blood by drinking it. Don't worry about that. In fact, uh, well, that, that, that's good to know. Also, uh, the, the milk of magnesium is a uh, magnesium citrate, isn't it? It's a, no, that's mag- magnesia is actually a technical term for uh, for magnesium oxide. It's not magnesium citrate, although magnesium citrate is a preferred form of magnesium. In general, citrate minerals are much better handled by the body than oxide minerals. Uh, Magnesium oxide is not a well-absorbed form of magnesium, so uh, I wouldn't worry about getting too much magnesium, and I I wouldn't even be using magnesium oxide as my main source of magnesium. Look for magnesium citrate. Your best source of magnesium is going to be vegetables and green leafies. But as far as supplemental magnesium, look for magnesium uh, citrate, citrate, as you say, or also I like magnesium chelates or magnesium aspartate. That's what I use personally is magnesium aspartate and magnesium glycinate. Just a quick review. The second word after a mineral, whether it's citrate or glycinate or aspartate, will always tell you how well that mineral is absorbed. And oxide minerals are not absorbed anywhere nearly as well as citrate minerals or uh, glycinate minerals or, for that matter, aspartate minerals. Does that help, Uh, Pastor? That's good general information to know. How about the, uh, are you familiar with the magnesium uh, oxide prill beads? Do you know anything about Mm. them? Are you saying prill, P-R-I-L-L? That's correct. Yeah, no, I'm not um, not familiar with those. I'm familiar, of course, with magnesium treatment for softening water, uh, and magnesium in water is going to get you a little bit better absorption. Always minerals that are dissolved in water will be more rapidly absorbed than taking them as a supplement. But, no, I'm I'm not familiar with that particular type of magnesium treatment. Well, we've been using it for about a year. Oh, actually, more closer to two years, and, and we've never had any problems. I, I don't know that we notice any health benefits from it. Uh, you're you're probably not getting enough magnesium just from the water, Pastor, in my opinion. Yeah. I'd be supplementing, too. Get on the OsteoMag. Okay. All right. All right, buddy. Thank you Thank so much, you. Pastor Raymond. Thanks for calling, bro. Okay, uh, Peggy in Ohio, welcome to the Bright Side. Hello, uh, Pharmacist, Pharmacist Ben. Pharmacist Ben. Yes, ma'am. 
About a month ago, I was rushed to the hospital in AFib. I had a heart rate of 171. Okay. Sky high blood pressure. Not good. No. Uh, well, after spending about two days in the hospital, the doctor sent me home with three prescriptions. Yeah, not good that either. I've been taking, and they are not working. What did they take? What are they giving you? Just for curiosity's sake, not that it matters, but what are they, what okay. are they giving you? I may butcher the pronunciation. Okay. One of them is metoprolol. Metoprolol. I probably. Okay. I'm supposed to take. Um, no, don't. Don't just tell me the names real quick. Metoprolol okay. is the first I've one. I've got. Um, X A R E L T O. I can't even begin to pronounce it. <laughs> okay. X A R. And then. Um, Lisinopril. Yeah. Okay. All right. Here's the deal. First of all, the uh, uh, the lisinopril is what's called uh, uh, that's an ACE inhibitor drug that uh, st stops enzymes from being made. Specific enzymes that are produced in response to stress. How do you like that? It shuts off stress response enzymes. The uh, Xarelto is blood. It's to, uh, uh, it's to, to protect you from strokes and from uh, from embolisms for folks who have AFib. And then the first drug is really nasty. That's a beta blocker drug that shuts down the nervous system, the specific type of the nervous system. Never a good idea. This is the stupidity of modern medicine, the utter stupidity of the pharmacomedical model. To give poison drugs to somebody who's already got a stressed out system is just, oh, just makes me so angry. Here's the deal. The uh, high blood pressure, and AFib for that matter, needs to be regarded as the body's response to stress. Now, I'm not talking necessarily about psychological or mental stress, although that plays a part, certainly. I'm talking physiologic stress. So your body has been bombarded with some kind of stress-inducing agent for years, ma'am, for you to have that kind of hypertensive crisis going on or have had that hypertensive crisis going on. So you got to figure out what's getting into your body that's causing the stress and guarantee dollars to donuts literally you're talking about the wrong kinds of foods now I, I i know i'm not psychic here and i don't know whether you recognize it or not it doesn't matter you have to uh, you have to figure out what's going on in your digestive system are you aware of any digestive problems ma'am historic um, i think throughout. i'm becoming sensitive to gluten well this you sound like you're in your 40s or 50s at least is that correct um, 63. Okay, you're 63. Well, you ain't just becoming sensitive to gluten. You had digestive problems probably your whole life. Focus on the digestive system. Use deep breathing techniques. Use the B-complex. Use magnesium and niacin. Hang tight, uh, Peggy, because I'll finish this up when we come back from our break. Okay, ma'am? Hang on. High blood pressure is a manifestation of the stress response. People, I don't know how many different ways I could say it. We've got 80 million Americans with high blood pressure. It is nothing more than the body's response to stress. All right, we're coming back right out. Coming back with more good health information, right? The fall season is here. Falling downstairs, bad. Fallback pricing, good. Don't fall down the stairs. Go to freezedryguy.com. Vote for special fallback pricing on delicious freeze-dried foods and dehydrated foods. Vote early. Vote often through October 10th. Tell us which product to put on sale. Then, beginning October 11th, Fallback Friday, the price of the product with the most votes will be on sale with special fallback pricing. Missing out on a sale on emergency preparedness food, camping food, or backpacking food? Bad. Storing delicious freeze-dried entrees, fruits, vegetables, and desserts? Good. Go to freezedryguy.com. Vote now through October 10th for fallback pricing. Voting for politicians who expose themselves? Bad. Voting for fallback pricing at freezedryguy.com. Good. Go to freezedryguy.com. We live in a complicated society. Stressful issues are always popping up. Have you ever been treated unfairly by someone? Have you ever been overcharged for a repair? Have you ever signed a contract or a document? Worried about identity theft? How many times have you been in those unique situations where you just wanted to call an attorney to find out if you're right or wrong or what your legal rights are? But every time you think about calling an attorney, what do you think about first? That's right. Who do you call and how much will it cost? Our friends at Legal Shield have found a solution. 
With a nationwide network of 6,900 attorneys who average over 19 years of experience, Legal Shields law firms take over 40,000 calls per week helping their members. For less than $20 per month, you can have access to Legal Shield on everything from the trivial to the traumatic. Let Legal Shield stand up for your rights at lsprotection.com. That's lsprotection.com. Or call 855-340-SAVE, 855-340-7283. Do you owe the IRS money that you can't pay? Are tax liens and levies ruining your life? Are you tired of being afraid just to go to the mailbox? If this describes you, then Dan Pilla can help. Hi, I'm Dan Pilla, and I've been solving tax problems for more than 30 years. In fact, I wrote the book that made it possible to negotiate settlements with the IRS, and I've helped thousands of people do exactly that. Call now at 800-346-6829 to learn how I can help you. You know your IRS debt will not go away by itself, but you don't have to live in fear anymore. New changes to IRS policies will help more people than ever before eliminate their debts once and for all. There's no need for you to suffer another day with IRS debt. Call 800-346-6829. I can help you eliminate wage and bank levies, release tax liens, and negotiate a settlement with the IRS that will put your tax nightmare behind you forever. Call 800-34-NO-TAX or go to my website taxhelponline.com that's taxhelponline.com in the u.s one in every 50 homes will have a break-in this year burglars call it smash and grab police call it robbery we call it avoidable we are fake tv a simple electronic device that can fool even professional burglars Fake TV easily plugs into any outlet and simulates the changing colors of a television. To a burglar, it looks like someone must be home watching TV, so they'll likely move on to an easier target. At only $29.95, Fake TV costs less than a month of most alarm monitoring plans and comes with free shipping. Order your Fake TV by calling 877-5-FAKE-TV or go to faketv.com. That's 877-532-5388 or faketv.com. Fake TV, the burglar deterrent. Great news, pure water lovers. BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com has a special discount offer for all GCN listeners. You can't do better than a Big Berkey for economy. For only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. There's none better than a Big Berkey for emergency preparedness as a backup water source. And you just can't beat a Big Berkey to remove dangerous chlorine, all types of fluoride, pathogenic bacteria, cysts, parasites, and unhealthy viruses products from municipal water. Berkey water filter systems are even powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. For the gold standard in water filters, get a Big Berkey at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And all GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. For details, call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey Water Filters, for the love of clean water. Are you tired of searching for great talk radio? Something more important. Search no more. We are the GCN Radio Network. All right, we are back on the bright side. Peggy, you there, ma'am? Peggy, in Ohio. Okay, Peggy? Yes. Okay, I'm going to download you with a bunch of good information here, and I'm sorry to go fast, but we got our guest on the line, and uh, you can always shoot me an email. Uh, ben at KSCO.com or, uh, let's see, what's my other email? I already forgot. Uh, BrightSideLetters.com. BrightSideLetters okay. at gmail.com. One way or another. But here's the deal. Blood pressure, AFib, circulatory issues that involve uh, hypertension it, are, should always be regarded as a manifestation of the stress response. The most likely aspect, and aside from mental and emotional stress, the mo- most likely place where stress is going to get into the body is through the wrong kinds of foods. Your bowel movements are your clue to the wrong kinds of foods. Constipation, loose stools, diarrhea, uh, all of those are signs that you're eating the wrong kinds of foods and you want to eliminate those foods. Link up your digestive system to foods. That's the, the single most important move you can make to lower blood pressure. If you practice deep breathing techniques, this will be a, give you a visible manifestation of the power of the relaxation response for dropping blood pressure. 
anoxia, hypoxia, which are fancy ways of saying low blood oxygen, is it will immediately ca- cause your blood pressure to rise. So simply by spending two or three minutes by d- uh, doing deep breathing techniques, go get if you have a smartphone, get the app uh, Bio Breathing or My Calm Beat. Simply by doing two or three minutes of good, slow, deep breathing, you will lower your, your blood pressure instantly, and you can test this for yourself with a blood pressure cuff. Just take your blood pressure uh, uh, regularly and then spend a couple minutes doing deep breathing. Take your blood pressure again, and you'll see a drop. Then there's wonderful supplements for lowering blood pressure. Niacin, vitamin B3 is a superstar for lowering blood pressure and for all circulatory issues. Really, I'd be using a timed release niacin, and I'd be using it with the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Whenever you're taking a B complex, you want to always use the uh, or one of the B complex uh, vitamins. You always want to take the entire complex with it, and you'll get that with the Beyond Tangy Tangerine. Uh, in addition to niacin, thiamine, vitamin B1, and B12 also can help with blood pressure issues. Magnesium, superstar mineral for lowering blood pressure. I'd be using the Osteomag. You want around 1,000 to 2,000 milligrams of magnesium a day. And then it wouldn't hurt you to get some coenzyme Q10 and vitamin E, both of which have blood thinning properties that can help improve circulation and also improve blood pressure. That's just the tip of the iceberg, ma'am. And, oh, yeah, don't forget vitamin C, which is always good for all circulatory issues. Peggy? That is just the tip of the iceberg, and these nutritional supplements and strategies like deep breathing techniques and laying off of problem foods will go a lot longer for helping lower your blood pressure, keeping you living longer, and keeping you healthier than any darn prescription drugs on the planet. Do you know what happens when you take a prescription drug, you guys? Your body processes it like a poison. Like a poison. Now, who the heck thinks it's a good idea to put a poison into an already stressed out biological system? Oh, yeah, your doctor does. Not cool. Not intelligent. Bad science. All right, Peggy? Sorry to get all worked up, but that just kind of torques me sometimes. Does that help you, ma'am? Yes. Okay, Thanks. God bless. And feel, feel free to shoot me an email, uh, either ben at ksco.com or brightsideletters at gmail.com. And, I'll, and put your phone number. All you guys who are sending me letters, if there's no phone number in there, it makes it much more difficult for me to contact you. All right, thanks so much, Peggy. Sorry we, if we left you on hold. Please call back tomorrow, uh, and then we'll uh, get you first up if you tell our call screener we left you on hold. All right, we are going to be talking to Jay Widener, movie director, runs the show over at Guy TV. He's an authority on alchemical and hermetic traditions, as Wired Magazine calls him. I've known Jay for going on 20 years these days. Uh, Jay is a guy in TV. They actually have their studios right upstairs from my skincare company, Sunita Skincare, and from my pharmacy, so I get to see Jay occasionally, although not as often as I like. Jay always has an interesting take on reality and uh, the many secret ways our world is constructed. Wait till you hear Jay's take on melatonin and serotonin in ancient Egypt. Anyway, without further ado, please welcome my personal favorite, quote, erudite conspiracy hunter, unquote, Jay Widener. Greetings, Jay. Welcome. Hey. Hi, Ben. How are you doing? Good to talk to you. Now, you and I go a, go a long way. I've been an admirer of your work for many years, and you are certainly an erudite conspiracy hunter and a, a scholarly guy. So, uh, as you know, we focus on the bright side on nutrition and health of the body, and like you, I have a personal interest in uh, what could be called the ancient wisdom. And nothing blends these two topics of health and the body and the ancient wisdom more succinctly and concisely than the, the little pine cone in our head, the pineal gland, which in addition to being the body's master gland, master hormone gland, it also has a long and storied tradition of relevance for, uh, from, from, the, from ancient Egypt to the church to medieval alchemists to conspiracy theorists to pharmaco shamans, guys like, uh, guys like Terrence McKenna. First of all, tell us what you know about the pineal gland from an ancient wisdom perspective, and then maybe tell us a little bit about how the powers that be use these understandings for their own interests in terms of controlling all our pineal glands, or, or perhaps if there's such a thing, our collective pineal gland. Uh, yeah, that's a good question. Uh, I haven't asked that question in a long time. Uh, basically, the pineal gland is the gland that connects us to source through into the other dimensional qualities that surround um, our planet and and each of us uh, the, that that connection is made through the pineal gland and so what that means is that you want to keep your pineal gland as pristine as possible because you're literally receiving information from the universe through the pineal gland the Egyptians knew this the 
ancient alchemists knew this. Alchemy is, in fact, just a way to stimulate the pineal gland to cause it to function in a, in a almost a super fashion because you can you can you can fake the pineal gland out so that it produces uh, hormones that will in, in make you healthier, uh, give you better night's sleep, and live longer. Uh, Anti aging properties within the pineal gland. Also, the pineal gland sits on top of the endocrine system, and through gravity, it is the, like you said, it's the king of the endocrine system, and it actually causes, whether if your pineal gland is functioning correctly, then it'll, it'll drip down through the endocrine system and cause your health to be good in all of your glands, but if your pineal gland is off, then it causes all the other glands, starting with the pituitary and going on down, to begin to uh, go out of balance. So the key to good health, according to the ancients and according to the alchemists, was to keep the pineal gland in as pristine a shape as possible. And, um, and, and after that, then they would also use uh, light-dark practices to stimulate and keep the pineal gland in, in 100% pristine shape. As we get older, it calcifies, and especially in the modern world with fluoride, um, which calcifies the pineal gland and causes it to, to stop functioning for the most part. And this, this brings on the onset of aging, um, you know, uh, bad skin, you know, organs failing, that kind of thing. So the key to health is the pineal gland. What's interesting about this is that there was a um, study now, it must be around 25 or 30 years ago now, and it's all detailed in this book called The Melatonin Miracle, and I believe it was Princeton, and what they did was they took the pineal glands out of older rats and put them into younger rats, and then they took the pineal glands out of younger rats and put them into older rats. And what was interesting about this is that the older rats are actually, once the younger pineal gland had been put into their brains, began reverse aging. And the younger rats, when the older pineal glands were put in, they aged rapidly. Uh, hang, this hang, is- hang tight to that thought, Jay. We've got to take a break. We're talking to Jay Widener about the pineal gland. And uh, when we come back, I want to talk about this relationship, very interesting relationship between late dark, melatonin, serotonin, and pineal health, pineal gland health. You're listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. We'll be back right after this. Pharmacist Ben Fuchs believes virtually all disease states can be backtracked to digestive problems. Deficiencies in stomach acid can affect all downstream systems. Taking digestive enzymes can be amazingly helpful for dealing with deficiencies in stomach acid. Enzymes require low pH for activation. You can also use aloe vera juice, by the way. Sugars in aloe vera have a coating effect on the digestive system. Longevity has a cool product called Noni Plus, which is made from aloe in the noni fruit. It's tasty. It can also function to support digestive acidification, acidification of the stomach, and activation of digestive enzymes. Take pharmacist Ben's advice and support your digestive system by ordering Noni Plus from Longevity. Call 866-735-2470. That's 866-735-2470 or on the web at brightsideben.com. That's brightsideben.com. Order today. This alert just came in. This special announcement is for business owners and leaders of organizations who've been waiting for the right time to build. General Steel has made it impossible to wait any longer with rock-bottom prices that could save you thousands. That's right. General Steel, America's leader in pre-engineered structures, is offering buildings at prices you will never see again. Don't miss these specials. A 14 by 21 foot shop for under 6000 or a 50 by 100 for under 30000 You heard right. That's 5000 square feet under $30,000. Manufacturers, if you need a larger building, try a 100 by 100 commercial building for $129,000. You can't afford to rent with these prices. Imagine a 70 by 100 foot church building for under $69,000. With the economy improving and interest rates still at historic lows, you can't afford to wait. So call 866-91-STEEL. 866-91-STEEL. That's 866-917-8335. An e-cig revolution is sweeping across the country. But is yours American-made? 
Vapria e-liquid by Lasig is manufactured in Arkansas with 100% USA sourced ingredients. And when you buy American, you support local jobs. Vapria e-liquid by Lasig is top quality at an affordable price. The very principle that once drove the American economy. Get great taste with no ash, tar, or smoke. You'll be wondering why you didn't make the change to Vapria e-liquid by Lasig a long time ago. Lasig.com has everything you need for beginners to the advanced vaping enthusiast with a wide variety of hardware. And also imported e-liquid flavors as well. Plus, Lasig smokes the competition with fast, free, same-day shipping, real people customer service, and a 30-day satisfaction guarantee. Support our country and become a vapriot at Lasig.com or call 870-525-1440. 870-525-1440. Lasig e-cigarettes for today's modern smoker. You know about RVs, you've heard about bunkers, but surviving is not recreation, and man wasn't made to live underground. Introducing Survivalist Camps, the ultimate fully functional off-the-grid survival bug-out house that's mobile, well-equipped, and custom-built to outlast any other RV or trailer. Go to survivalistcamps.com to learn more. That's survivalistcamps.com, providing your basic needs to survive. Survivalistcamps.com. What if you had a witness everywhere you drive? Now you can with VideoDashCam.com. From truckers to motorcyclists, the handy Video Dash Cam can be used for insurance claims, accidents, police encounters, road rage, or natural disasters. Has instant screen playback and optional night vision. Get the best quality, affordable HD Dash Cameras available at VideoDashCam.com. That's VideoDashCam.com. Or call 855-855-2022. Always have a witness with Video Dash Cam. The GCN Radio Network, providing the world with hard-hitting talk radio. G-C-N. Great talk radio starts here. All right, welcome back to The Bright Side. We're talking to Jay Widener about the pineal gland. Jay is a alchemical and hermetic scholar. And uh, somewhat of an expert on the pineal gland. I heard Jay talking about the pineal gland 20 years ago, and I guess uh, I guess you're still learning about stuff, right, Jay? I am. I find it a really fascinating uh, subject, and uh, probably I'll spend the rest of my life just exploring the pineal gland because it is really a mind blower. It is, isn't it? You know, do you know about the Do you know about the pine cone in the in the Vatican? That big pine cone statue. I do. Isn't that interesting? Tell the listeners real quick about that. Well, it's a, you know it's a fresco with a pine cone, but the, it's obviously it represents the pineal gland, which looks like a little pine cone. Right. What's interesting about the pine cone as a shape is that it has both a um, phi ratio pattern in in its pattern. It's a phi ratio pattern coming from the top and coming from the bottom. What, what is so, that? What do you? What is the phi ratio? Pattern? It's a, a golden mean spiral. Uh, it's the perfect form of nature, hurricanes, snails, you know, uh, um, all sorts of animals are, have, have this shape in them. And it's really the ingrained, uh, uh, inscribed uh, uh, nature of the force that is, is what gives life. And the fundamental life force. Comes, well, it's, it's, a, it's a life force that comes down from above. And, and the earth has a, a, a toroidal field around it, and each human and each living thing also has a toroidal field. This is a donut-shaped field that exists around us. So the mystics call it the aura. Um, the chakra system is part of this. The pineal gland, of course, is related to the chakra system. Okay. And this is like a – imagine a, a vortex or a tornado. It's called the Shashumna in the uh, Vedic uh, uh, religion, and it's like a little tornado that comes down to, to, down from above into the top of your head, mm. and the very tip of this this invisible tornado uh, it hits right at the pineal gland, and so the pineal gland is this doorway. When you die, your body, um, as it deteriorates, the um, this this uh, this field collapses in on itself and goes back up through this vortex out the pineal gland, which is the tunnel that people see when they when they report near death experiences. Isn't there and, a surge of isn't there a surge of pineal gland hormones right at the point of death? There is, and um, and in fact, a lot of people think that the. Uh, 
the interdimensional qualities of near-death experiences are because the pineal gland suddenly has this explosion of chemicals which permeates the brain right at the instant of death and uh, may even, you know, cause the past life regression, seeing your entire life flashing before mm -hmm. you as kind of all the cells in the memory are released at once. It's a really fascinating uh, subject. And uh, uh, like I said, this book, The Melatonin Miracle, was, you know, uh, done like 25, 30 years ago. So the powers that be have to know the power of the pineal gland also um, because of all this research and why they haven't, you know, taken the next step, which is clearly, um, you know, to find a way to make uh, everyone's pineal and endocrine system pristine is uh, is a deeply disturbing because, in fact, they're doing the opposite. They're flooding us with things that calcify the pineal gland, which makes us less aware, less conscious, because there's a direct relationship between the pineal gland and consciousness. And um, so, I, I mean, I'm not, I'm not waxing conspiratorial here. I think it was actually a fluoride in the water was actually just a mistake that was made in the 50s. But just because a mistake was made doesn't mean we have to stick with it forever. So I encourage people to uh, advocate for the defluoridation of the water supply. Jay, we only have a few more minutes, and I want to talk about the whole melatonin serotonin story. Before we do that, what are some practical steps people can take to clear out their to, to clear out their pineal gland from calcification and from fluoride, and uh, uh, to keep it to return it to its pristine state, as you say? Yeah, well, first off, get off the water supply. Get a heavy filtering system for your water. Make sure you don't drink uh, any water that comes out of the tap. Uh, that's really, really important. The second thing to do is take up, uh, personally, the best way to flood your pineal gland and, and to get rid of the calcification outside of the water is to do headstands, yogic headstands, which flood the brain with, uh, with uh, blood. And uh, this, especially as you get older, it's harder and harder for blood to be pumped up into the brain, so you have to assist your body as you get older so that you can flood the uh, brain and the pineal system with as much fluid as possible because that will keep the calcification out. Also foods, um, I highly recommend that you don't eat any uh, wheat or gluten at all because we found now that, that even causes a clogging inside the pineal gland and um, probably wise not to drink alcohol. Uh, that also causes problems in the pineal system. Hmm. So there, there's lots of things you can do. Meditation is a great way, by the way. Just sitting still is a great way to become in contact with your pineal system, which is really getting in contact with extra-dimensional uh, forces and communications, which also will assist you in, in, in getting through life. A lot of older meditative techniques involve lifting your eyes upward, almost like yes. you're focusing on the pineal gland, and it turns out in hypnosis, lifting your eyes upward actually activates the hypnotic state as well, the alpha state, they call it. That, that's right, and also in, uh, in, in sophisticated meditation practices, you're also to put the tongue up to the top yeah. of the roof of the mouth, which is right pointing straight up to the pineal gland, which wow. is right, right, you know, right, right in the center of your brain. And uh, But the real trick is what I'm about to get into, which is light-dark practices. Which You've got about three minutes, Jay, if you uh, can I'm tell that story. I'm going to go as fast as I can. Okay. So uh, what you do is, uh, ancient traditions talked about this quite a bit, is you go into uh, darkness for three days. I know it sounds kind of tough. And then you um, come out of the darkness with a blindfold on. You have friends that are assisting you, no doubt. And you go to a top of a hill, and you, and you take the blindfold off. And for about three minutes, you stare into the rising sun, not a full sun. This is the rising sun, where it's still got a lot of atmosphere, so you don't damage your eyes. Then immediately, you put the blindfold back on, and you go back into the dark. And what this does is the darkness stimulates the melatonin, which is the life-giving, anti-aging uh, um, hormone in, in the pineal gland. And then when you stare into the sunlight for two or three minutes, this changes all of that melatonin immediately into serotonin, which is really the key to enlightenment. And then when you go back in the dark, that 
enlivened serotonin is now turned into almost a super melatonin, and then this will, depending on how long you stay in the dark, this will reverse your aging process, which is really the key to alchemy. Montauk Chia uh, teaches this in Thailand, and it would be great to have some uh, mystery schools form around this kind of practice here in the United States. Now, what, what about the ancient Egyptians? Tell, tell the folks that whole Egypt thing where the buried in the crypt and rising out of after three That's years. That's right. So in Egypt, which is the free Masons also took this up. Um, they would go into probably the king's chamber, which is completely free of, of electromagnetic fields, including the Earth's electromagnetic field, and uh, completely and totally dark. And then you would stay in the crypt for three days, and then the priest would take you out, uh, face you to the east, which is where the Sphinx is pointing, and you would look into the rising sun and create this kind of super hormone. It's a way to trick the pineal gland into producing a super hormone, which will give you theoretically hundreds of years of life instead of just the 80 to 90 years we get on this planet right now. So the, the pineal gland really is the key to um, uh, uh, extended life. And I, I believe the elites know this, and they are doing things that to stimulate their own pineal glands, and I think we can do the same thing. What about just, if you don't want to do the three-day thing, just like getting up in the morning and heading right over to the window and looking at the sun? I highly recommend. That's what I do in the morning. Yeah. I get up immediately, and I stare into the early morning sun for two or three minutes, and you can immediately feel the effects. Your, your, right. your energy goes up immediately. Uh, you feel better. Better, you feel happy. Any source of depression uh, vanishes. Uh, it's really a great thing to do, and I highly recommend it. And this is why people like in Seattle drink a lot of coffee because they don't have this stimulating uh, early morning sun that people who don't live in foggy areas have. That's awesome information. Thank you so much for joining us, Jay. Tell the folks your website, your blog, your website. Okay, it's, uh, you can buy my DVDs and stuff at sacredmysteries.com. You can read all my free stuff at jwidener.com. And you can go see my incredible programming that I'm putting on. Go to guymtv.com and enjoy a alternative television network that will enliven and enlighten you. Jay, thank you so much, buddy. Thank you for being on, and thank you for your great work. And hopefully Thanks, I'll get to see you sometime soon. Work. God bless, buddy. Thank you, Jay. That was Jay Widener, uh, movie director, and uh, the guy who runs the show over at Guy TV. He's telling us about the pineal gland, melatonin, serotonin, really good information. Check out his, his blog, uh, Jay Widener, W-E-I-D-N-E-R.com. All right, tomorrow we're going to talk to Dr. Holly Wyatt about her new book, State of Slim. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You've been listening to The Bright Side on the Genesis Communication Network. Have an awesome, wonderful, beautiful day. We'll talk to you all later. Bye for now. For over five years, you've been hearing about the Berkey guy, so you may know a few things about him. For example, you are well aware of the superior quality and effectiveness of Berkey water filters and accessories. But did you know the Berkeys have had independent lab tests done to prove just how effective they are? It's true, and he can email you the test results. Just visit GoBerkey.com. You may also know that the Berkey guy has helped tens of thousands of people get better prepared. Now here's something you may not know. GoBerkey.com has amazing specials and deals all the time on a wide variety of survival and preparedness products. Most ready to ship same day. Visit the Berkey guy at GoBerkey.com and be sure to click the red Products on Sale Now button. You can always call toll-free 877-886-3653. Again, that's 877-886-3653. GoBerkey.com, home of the Berkey guy. Time and time again. You need to come here and help us. We need assistance. Please. Those we should be able to depend on let us down. Federal and state and local officials saying help is on the way. Will the folks here in Bell Harbor say show me? Don't depend on the government to save you. Take action now so that you're prepared for the next disaster with MyPatriotSupply.com. Get the best prices on storable food, non-GMO seeds, water filtration devices, home canning equipment, survival and self
self-reliance books, and more at MyPatriotSupply.com. Call 866-229-0927. We are hurting down here, and we need help immediately. Before it's time to survive, it's time to prepare. MyPatriotSupply.com. MyPatriotSupply.com. 